The history and origin of Allen Roundhead's chicken. Will Allen of Mississippi obtained a Boston Roundhead Gamecock from Dr. Fred Saunders and crossed him over some hens that a blend of red quill and grist grady. The Grady's were originated seemingly as a succession of battle crosses by Colonel Grist of GA. Some of the breeds making up the Grady's were Claiborne, Shawl Neck, Southern USA White Hackles, and Warhorse, plus a bit of Spanish blue stock. Since all these breeds are straight comb, it would seem that Boston Cock had very strong pea comb genes to give that characteristic to his offspring and descendants for generations to come to this day after 100 years, or so. I have owned many, many, roundhead, foul over the past long YRS. I have been in the sport, I put the name in quotes because it refers, in the USA, to most any pea comb foul that happens to be black-breasted reds with white or yellow legs and that do not show too much of their oriental lineage. However there are also black roundheads and negro roundheads and on and on. So now it is used more as a generic term for pea comb fowl than as the name of a specific breed. However, generally the name refers to the Allen and Shelton roundheads, Shelton was Allen's brother-in-law and they owned the fowl together. But another, however, the Allen roundheads were breed and to a great extent developed by another old man R.E. Walt. In fact in my younger days, most of the roundhead game fowl around OK were referred to as Rewalt Roundheads instead of Allens. You might ask about the Boston Roundheads that made the Allens. They arrived in the USA from Ireland without an ID tag. According to my sources, these fowl were known to be Irish Whitehackles bred just like the more common English Whitehackles such as the North Britons, Earl of Derbys, and so on but many of the Irish had pea combs. The original Carney and Durier Irish Whitehackles had a percent of pea combs as well as the Irish Whitehackles bred by my Irish friend John Tynan. I think he called them Queen Anne Whitehackles but I have forgotten for sure. Remember after England colonized India, the English breeders had access to the best oriental fowl such as Asil and even Japanese. These oriental bloodlines were then added to the early English fowl of 500 years, or so ago that weighed only around 4 pounds, about like the small Spanish cocks today. The oriental crosses increased the size to around 5 pounds, or bigger, which most American cocks are today. Over the years, the English breeders bred out the pea comb but since it didn't bother the Irish, they continued to breed both straight comb and pea comb whitehackles. Of course the name whitehackles comes from the old English custom of trimming the neck hackles close to the skin so that the cocks with a white under feather in the neck would be a whitehackle. There are also breeds called blackhackle. There are jillions of oriental American crosses that come pecom and are called roundheads that contain not a drop of the original Allen bloodline. As is true for all other strains some roundheads are awfully good while others are awfully bad but most are somewhat in the middle. The pea comb Kelso fowl owe much of their good qualities to the George Smith roundhead, same stock as Lundy roundheads, that was blended with claret to make the McClanahans that Walter Kelso used in his initial cross. Disclaimer. No copyright infringement intended. All music, picture and videos inserted belongs to the rightful owner. For educational documentary and entertainment purpose only.